Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about props and modifications. So I wanted to introduce the overball to you. Now we use this overball so much in the studio. It's wonderful in mat classes as well as a fantastic prop even on the equipment. So today we're going to show you how we can start to loosen up the pelvis, find some glide of the pelvis on the femurs and then also get some really great movement in the lumbar spine. So I'm going to have Jen do a little bit of clocking. So I'm going to give this to you Jen mm -hmm. and you're going to lift your pelvis up and off of the mat and put that overball underneath. Now I should tell you one of the genius things about the overball is that you can <laughs> change the um, air that's inside of it. So you can have it more inflated for some or less inflated for others. For Jen today, we have a little bit less inflated so that she can find uh, a little bit more ease in her skeleton as she lays here. So Jen, I want you to take some nice inhales and exhales and just feel that each side of your pelvis, front, back, side to side, is spilling over the overball. Now this is wonderful for when your clients first come into the studio and they're, you know, just dropped kids off or they have to go grocery shopping after, to have them just relax. This elevation of the pelvis is something that we don't get a lot, so it's really good for the nervous system as well as the spine. Now Jen, I want you to imagine that you have this beautiful clock on your pelvis. Your belly button's going to be 12 o'clock. Your pubic bone's gonna be six, hip bones three and nine, okay? So I'm gonna have you take a nice inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to feel as if you're pulling into 12 o'clock, almost like we have a pile of ball bearings at the center of the pelvis, and one by one, they're spilling into the well of your belly button. Beautiful. Now inhale, keep it here. And then exhale, those ball bearings start to spread and go down into the pubic bone area and use that ball as a fulcrum for movement. So you wanna see and feel how the bottom part of your pelvis really starts to explore that soft, squishy ball. And again, inhale here, exhale, one by one, the ball bearings start to puddle inside of that belly button, good. And just keep rocking back and forth here and so as you're cueing this, you really want to cue the softness of the movement. Because if your clients that tend to be kind of destination oriented, what will happen is they'll grip into their glutes, you'll um, see their shoulders kind of collapse in on one, um, themselves. So we want this to be as soft and as easy as their breath. Very nice, Jen. And I'm going to let go of Jen's legs. And I always like to do this test <laughs> because we can see which leg she was using a little bit more to ground. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and bring it center, Jen. Very good. So here in the center placement, we really want them to feel that their tailbone is dripping down over the ball as well as the base of their sacrum. Now here's a little bit harder one, three and nine. Mm -hmm. So ball bearings again, we have our nice little pile. And let's go ahead to three o'clock first. And one by one, let's have you start to draw over on the exhale. So this is really important because it's sinking this femur deep into the pelvis, good. And then bring it back center. And then opposite side, and I'm giving her a little bit of feedback into her femur so she can feel how, yes, this femur head can drop down and help this tiny little tip of the pelvis. One more time each side, Jen. And you should really, you know, tell your clients that this three and nine o'clock is more subtle than the 12 and the six. Very good, open the collarbones. Ah, good. And you always want to make sure, scanning the body, this is very nice, to see if there's any tension accumulating anywhere else where we're just trying to rock the pelvis. Mm-hmm. Good. Not allowing a hip hike, finding space on, yes, either side of the waist. And center. Good. This is a wonderful way to start off a class or even end a class. It's so nice and centering. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you soon.